Hello, this video that I'm doing today is on an application um, that is called ES File Explorer. And um, it is just that. It's a file manager uh, for your phone. Um, and it's really great. Um, I use it often. Um, see the videos, see the different things um, that it does um, inside of your phone. And here's the video for it. Let's see if we can get the video to play. Welcome to ES File Explorer 3. Basically, it's a file manager for local and network files. Show or hide the toolbar. Music and video on the phone. folders to organize the files, drag and drop as usual. First we new a folder. Then we select them and drag to the folder. For fast access, add it into the favorites. Long plus it to show operation toolbar. Add the folder to favorite. Hide some folders to make it simple and clean. Like this. Long press to hide the files. And you can restore it from here. Manage the computers which are in the same land. transferred files to other ES users, those who are in the same LAN. Select a file and send to the friend. If you are not in the same LAN, you can create or join a hotspot network.
Also, you can play the music to your friends. Search could be fast by category. For example, we can search the picture by it. Most features are in fast access. You can access the pictures, music, movies and books. Slides are showing the pictures. There are two display mode, picture display and photo albums. And we can view and manage the network image. The music, movies and books. your files on the network storage. For example, the Dropbox. We can upload a local file to a network drive. you can use another way of copy and paste. You can manage your apps with the app manager in the tool category. can back up and uninstall apps. And you can view the system install programs. And so on. Wonder which folder takes most space? Use the SD card analyst. And also you can manage the file with it. Toolbox is a useful tool for the advanced users. You can manage files on your phone through the computer. Simply open a switch. Open the switch and input the address on your PC. Then you can manage your phone with PC. How to manage the windows. Slide the toolbar to the left. You will see the window interface. You can close windows here and also can set the default windows. There 
there's another beam near, you can change it. And can also change the icon, etc. waiting for you to discover. Hope you have a good time with ES. Thanks. I think that there are some other key features um, as well um, that you may be utilizing uh, much more often um, inside of this, which are very simple. Um, let's say we go to, um, well, let's say, um, delete. Deleting is something that I think you'll do more often than a lot of the things that were in the video. So what you do is you just hold down, you select, um, copy, cut, and of course when you cut you can move it. Um, delete and rename are all options. If you select, select more, it gives you add to favorite, share, hide, move to, compress, which is um, another feature uh, along with decompressing. You can compress, you can create a zip file, you can send it, you can open as, meaning you can use that um, to look at it. It's an image, so you can open as, you can say an image or video audio if it doesn't necessarily understand what kind of a file it is. So you say you open this image and then it get, you get to choose um, which image viewer you want to use. So I like that feature as well because sometimes um, there are certain things that I download and it uses a default program, but I may not want that program to do it so I can hold it down and do the open as and I get to choose which program. I get to choose what kind of file I want it to be and then what program I want to open it. Um, but if you delete, you hold it down and then you just click delete and it asks you if that's what you want to do, if you're sure that you want to delete it, you just say okay. Um, the same thing goes for um, uh, renaming something. If you want to rename it, um, you just simply type what you want to rename, you press okay, and as you see, it was renamed to K. Um, so these things are, I think, more utilized um, inside of ESL Explorer for like everyday use, uh, as well as the other uh, the other features that you saw in the video. Um, and I know that I use this file explorer often. Um, it's not the one I use the most um, because it's not as user friendly as I would like it to be. Um, sometimes I think it's a little complicated with its layout. And so sometimes when I want simple, I just use um, my other file browser. But when I want to get into the more complicated tasks, this is definitely uh, the file browser that I use. Well, one of the other things that uh, the video did not show, which I use um, ES File Explorer for um, often, is the fact that um, it has a zip folder viewer. So um, here you see I have a few zip files. They look like these stacked books here. Um, if I were to tap that, it says that I can do a uh, easy zip viewer. So I can view it. And then um, the options here, as you see, off to the right and to the left, I have options to do. Uh, I can extract it. So let's say I wanted to extract it. I could actually um, choose the path I want to extract it to, um, which would be um, documents, because I don't have anything in my documents folder. And then I press OK and it does it i say okay again and so this is uh, a part of um, es file explorer that i use often 
because sometimes you um, I upload things to my drive as a zip file because it was a folder and so one of the ways that I can get the folder and get the information back is to um, download the zip file but then once I want to access that information I have to unzip it so um, this is one of the main features that I like about ES File Explorer myself along with you know the plethora of other things that it did and I showed that video because there were so many things that it did with other devices that I didn't have the um, capability to show today but I wanted to be able to um, have that in my video I think that it's very important to show as much about an application um, as you can the other thing I like about this is that if you go out of it um, it still uh, is doing its thing it does it in the background so it's not one of those applications where you are using it and you're forced to stay inside of the application um, if you look see I know it's sideways but the very top one here that one is showing that it's decompressing still and if you tap it it goes right back into it to show you um, where it's decompressing so that's another thing I like about using ES File Explorer whenever I'm doing anything copying pasting um, archiving or decompressing I don't have to um, stay in the app I can move around my phone as I need to or as I want to uh, so I hope that this video helps someone uh, thank you all for watching bye-bye uh,